Okay, I'm Makoto from Kyoto University. I'd like to talk about the NTCR Travel Mobile Group 2 task. So, organizers include I, Roger, and Tetsuya, and Takehiro, uh, who talked about the iMind task. So, let me start with uh, looking at the current mobile search. So, if you type NTCIR, you will get this kind of result. So, if you want to know what the NTCIR is, you have to, you may click the first link, and go to the web page, and you look for the description about the NTCIR. So, you may click this link, and then you can finally find the, what is the NTCIR here. So, your search stat is like this. You have to click t two times, and it spends 31 seconds. And here's another user who wants to know when the deadline of NTCIR. So he also clicks the links like this, and then go to the web page and look for the links to important date. And then finally, he can find the, uh, when the deadline of NTCIR here. So he clicked two times, and it spends 30 seconds. But so 30 seconds are too long for mobile users, I think. So let's do it better. So here is a mobile quick system. It's slightly different from our current web search result. So if you type NTCIR, you can immediately find the description of NTCIR here. So you don't need to click. Uh, you just spend three seconds to find your, your desired information. So for another user who wants to know when the deadline of NTCIR, he also, uh, he also gets this kind of result. And then he clicks the schedule links. And after uh, clicking on that link, you can immediately find the when the deadline of NTCIR. So you just need one click, and it spends 15 seconds. It's very good. So, our purpose is to provide direct and immediate mobile information access. So, this is our goal. And in, as a second round, we have some different things from uh, Mobile Quick 1. The first one is, uh, this is similar to the Mobile Quick 1, but we will have two subtasks, two subtasks for English and Japanese. And we will provide iUnit, and we, you don't need extract iUnit. I'll explain this later. And we will provide instant feedback, and you can use, you can see leaderboard, so that uh, you can see results of other teams. So let me introduce the subtasks first. So I need, the first subtask is I need ranking subtask. Give a query and a set of I need. I need is something like this. Uh, it's an information pieces relevant to the query. And your task is to rank them based on their estimated importance. So this is the unit ranking subtask. So your challenge is predicting the importance of uh, strings rather than document. So this is our first challenge. And second subtask is called unit summarization subtask. So give a query, a set of unit, and a set of subtopics. Your task is to generate a two-layer summary. So here is a uh, two-layer summary. First layer contains the text as well as links to the second layer. So you have to select which I units should appear in the first layer or second layer. And this will be evaluated by M measure developed in Mobile Quick One. The challenge is how to lay out I units so that any types of user can can be immediate, immediately satisfied. So this is very similar to I my task introduced before. Uh, so, and uh, as I said, we will provide reader bond. So, uh, your question might be, when can we get our evaluation result? So our answer is right after you submit your run. So you can get your result whenever you want to get. So if you get a result, you can upload your run, and then you can get the result. And also, uh, you can, other people can see your result, how good your result is. So uh, we will have, we will open our system around April for training query. For test query, we will open our system around August. I think I already spent 
the five minutes. So let me summarize my talk. So Mobile Quick 2 is, uh, the, our purpose is to provide direct and immediate mobile information access. And please come to the, our website around April. You can test, uh, you can check whether you should participate in our task. Thank you very much.